with the new auto ship. It's this one, the uh, window um, from Diamond Press. And so I wanted to do this quick video in between my conferences because I was supposed to do this video, I don't know, about three days ago. <laughs> so it's really come together really quickly. The, this is the card base. And so I, what I did was I just stamped my image directly on the card base and I colored them in. And in, in order for you to kind of see them really closely, I put, let's see if I can, um, there we go. I put a shadow around him. If you can see it, it has a shadow. It looks kind of pinkish because I use like a red uh, shadow color, YR0000, to bring him out more. Hi, Angie. Thank you for joining me. I'm doing a quick video on the Diamond Press uh, window auto ship die. Okay, I'm going to back you back up a little bit. Okay, so I've, this is my card base. I just used one of the Spec Noir card bases because they're so thick. Um, and then I stamped the little, what is this thing, snowman. <laughs> um, I found that when I'm using the shutters, uh, the, these the shutters that I cut out that doing it this way there was not enough room so that's why I ended up doing it this way and so I'm just going to add some glue like this card is so uber quick um, I already put the pop dots on there and I'm testing out this glue again um, I got this glue and it's called crafters closet from art skills and I got this from family dollar um, because I'm testing out different glues normally I just use my plain old regular Elmer's glue all I don't really use any special glues or anything because to me as long as I'm not doing any archival work that requires stuff to be saved I'm not gonna spend a fortune on a, a glue um, and so I'm just going to put this right here, just like that. This glue dries clear, and it seems to be pretty strong also, um, which is one thing that I like about it. Um, it seemed to be such a really a good, strong glue. And the fact that it dries clear. And if you notice, all I'm doing is dragging this tip across and pressing just a little bit because it a lot of glue doesn't come out when you do it that way so you're not wasting a bunch of glue or have a bunch of clumps okay so and it seems to hold pretty good um but i'll probably go back to my normal elmer's glue once this bottle runs out mainly because it works and i can get it in a gallon anywhere you can get a gallon of elmer's glue all at Office Depot, Home Depot, Lowe's, the art store, you know, Michael's, whatever. And so that's the reason why I usually buy a gallon. Okay, and then for my sentiment, sending Christmas cheer. This was one of the stamps that was in the um, stamp set. And I just put some pop dots on it so that I can raise up the um, image. So, and I have learned a trick that most of the pop dots you use is for height, not to stick. And so I don't take off all of the little pop dot thingies. I I leave them some of them there, the little these things, because it's really height that you want. And so if you strategically put them on here, the ones that stick down is going to be the ones that keep it in place. And the rest is just height. Used for height. Okay. And then I colored the little bird. I stamped and colored the little bird. Um, it's a little weirdy color, but I wanted to bring some light into it. And so that's the reason why I painted them blue and yellow. And this is just some Copic markers that I used. Um, I think like a, I don't even know. <laughs> light 
some light blues, uh, and that was it. And then for the words for this, I used my Copic marker and went around there so that white wouldn't just look so flat. And as usual, you know, I always put glue on the um, on the back of my pop dots because I don't know um, how long they've been around and if they'll stick. And if you see, hi Bev, thank you for joining me. Um, if you see this, this is the back of this paper because when I was looking for a piece of paper, I couldn't find, I didn't want to mess up a full sheet. So I just flipped it over to the white side, stamped it, and so I didn't have to ruin another piece of paper. And so I'm just going to put our bird as if he is standing on our little ledge right there of the window. And voila, that was it. And now you got a Christmas, a quick Christmas card, sending Christmas cheer, and I probably will wait until I get ready to send this out and then I'll stamp something on the inside of it. But that was it. Quick card using the window auto ship from Diamond Press. This, the, this window auto ship has been very nice um, and you can mix and match what you put in each window. And I think I'm on the third or fourth one. Um, and so you kind of mix and match all the windows and they work great together. And so I would say if you see it, um, to get this, pick this up, it's really good. Um, they may even have some at Diamond Press. So that was my quick video. I just jumped in real quick before my next session. I'm in the middle of a school board conference right now, and but I did want to do this video. So I will be back um, later on today and because I want to do the haul video for this ultimate compendium. This is so cute. This is super cute. I love it. Plus the year, uh, a year uh, in crafting will be here today. And one other is out for delivery, they said. The year and something else. I don't know. Um, but when they come in later on today, I will do a haul for all of those later on today. And today is Friday. So if you have not went to video 226 to... Um, I got to find it. To enter for this, um, please do because I'm doing the I'm closing the drawing later on today. So make sure that you um, that will probably be my first, next video after the conference is over um, about four o'clock. Um, I'll be back to announce that this drawing it will end because it's supposed to end today, and then I will pull the winter winner um, of that book so I can get it out to them. Okay? Thank y'all for joining me. I appreciate it, and I'll see you later on today. Thank you.